Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we're checking out how you can set up the Fate UXC Twitter API. This is going to be a little bit of a longer tutorial because this does take some time to do. Um, a few things you'll need. You'll need a Twitter account. You'll need the Twitter API.jar, which you can receive by going to our, by registering on our Discord, going to dpens-addons, and downloading the Twitter API underscore one jar. You'll then drop this jar, once you download it, into your plugins folder alongside your Fate UXC. Start the server, then stop the server, and you'll get this new Twitter API configure file here. You open this up and you can see, oh look, there's a bunch of stuff you need to enter. Well, we're going to go ahead and talk about that today. Now, after you do that, you're just going to leave this for a minute. We're going to move this to the side. I'm going to go back to this page. You're going to go to the developer.twitter.com and go ahead and apply for a developer account. So log into your account and press apply for developer account. Now, here's what we're gonna be doing. So what you wanna do is, let's see. What am I gonna be doing? Make a bot that will tweet or reply programmingly. That's what we're doing, we're making a bot. Click next. Is this you? Yes, this is my username. Is this an invit? We're signing up for an individual account. This is my email. What country do you live in? We're going to select your country. In my case, it's the US. What would you like to call you? This is the name of your account. I'll just put my name. And do you want updates? I do not right now. In your words, in English, please describe how you plan to use the API. I will be using this API to tweet out game announcements through my Minecraft plugin. This plugin will tweet when servers enable slash disable this plugin to inform users on upcoming and current game modes or something alongside that. I don't know. You'll just type it in. So you have to put as much details. We don't analyze Twitter data. It will tweet out text that says when the game begins, ends, the winner, and more. It will not retweet like follow direct message so pretty much you have to explain what you're doing here um because if you don't they won't accept this so you're going to explain everything so let's go through this no so you can see this it's uh, just you write what you're doing with it for our case it's just creating something so we're making a bot it's personal this is my account that's my email we're gonna just literally tweet out something in your words looks good you review your term so review all this read it press submit application so, thank you for applying. Confirm your email. So you send an email to this email address. Please click the confirmation to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'll be right back. So then, I've gone ahead and clicked the application um, confirm link. It's under review. So, we are receiving your request for API access, and we will review it. Um, they may request more information. Um, it does take a little time to get. Normally, this is enabled within about 20, 30 minutes, depending on what you want to use it for. Now, if I go to apps here, you can see your developer account is pending. You need to, you can manage your existing apps, but you cannot create one until your developer application is no longer pending. So it will take some time to do this. Give it about, the max it will take is 24 hours. Give it some time. Then when it's done, you'll be able to press create an app. And this video is gonna pick up. To save time on recording this video, I've gone ahead and logged into my already pre-approved developer account. So, let's take a little look. You can see I have two here, which are just my test ones. Why don't we take a little look on how you can create it? So, once you're approved and your application's been approved, you're gonna click create an app. You're gonna put your app name. My case is YT app one So, application description. So what, what is this gonna do? What does it do? It will tweet out, um, let's say, news about UXC games or something along the lines of that. 
your website URL. What you want to do for this is I'm just going to put bglhdevelopment.com. Now, will this application be used to sign in for Twitter? It will not. Um, callback URL, you, it's required. Let's see here. Let me make sure that let's open up our config and see if there needs to be a callback URL. No, there does not. So just you can just put anything for this for the callback URL. Um, you can just put the same website you did before. So I'll do bjkdevelopment.com. Just like that. Nor the rest of those. Organization name, I'm going to put bjkdevelopment. How will this be used to tweet? This app will be used to tweet out announcements for game modes that will be taking place. Something along the line of that. Taking place on my Minecraft server. Something along the line of that. Correct. Create. Make sure you approve. Then application created. Now, we got everything we need to do here. We're going to click keys and tokens. This is where we're going to grab the stuff we're going to put into our config.yml. So if we open up our config.yml, you can see we need the O authorization consumer key. That's going to be this one right here. You're going to take this, copy this, paste it into your consumer key here. Make sure there's no spaces. And your consumer secret key. If you're wondering, these keys are now disabled at this time. So you're going to put that in there. Then you're going to go ahead and create your secret access token. So this is your access token here. You're going to take this access token, put it here. And you're going to take your access secret token, put it here. That's all you have to do. Save, close your Twitter API. That's all you have to do for here. Now we're going to go ahead and start our server. So we're going to go here, start our server. At the same time, I'm going to launch up Minecraft, and we can join and see if it successfully worked. Ah, it may help if I'm on the latest version of the plugin. That that could help things. Thank you to Dead Brain for subscribing. Very, very appreciated. So why don't we just go ahead and put the newest version of the plugin in this restart? Thank you to Dead Brain who just subscribed to the YouTube channel. Very, very nice. So now that the plugin has actually started up successfully. We can go ahead and do this. Did I not connect to MongoDB? I did. Now I got to go ahead and link that all out. This is going to be a lot of editing for a video that wasn't supposed to be edited. I have to edit out my email address, the MongoDB database, all of it. How great. Yay. <laughs> Um, so once you start up, there's only one command you have to do, and the command is slash tweet. We'll go ahead and join our server. Ignore that. It's because I'm actually using, um, I haven't changed any of the stuff. Oh, okay. That may be why. Yeah, that would be why. Shoot. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to restart this uh, server and... I'm going to go ahead and fix this because it went ahead and duplicated like 10 things. I'll be right back. All right, now that I got the server to load up successfully, um, turns out I duplicated all the files accidentally. The command is slash tweet. Do slash tweet, you can see there's two tweets. Winner, whitelist. If I click whitelist, it's gone ahead, tweeted message, whitelist. Now, if we open up this and we go to our Twitter page, eh, there we go, twitter.com slash BHD development. See our newest tweet. Whitelist for Fate UXC is now off. Game type FFA. Bedrock Walls 2000. Nether false. So exactly what we designed in slash tweet. If we click winner, it'll do the exact same thing. Congratulations to none, because the game wasn't over, for winning. I'm going to go ahead and delete these so they don't send to our Discord server. And why don't we try to add a new tweet? So we're going to open up our Fate UXC plugins folder. We're going to open up our UXC configuration.yml file. Make sure your server's off, so I'm going to turn off the server. And when in your file, you're going to come down here, and you're going to see tweets. Tweet 1, tweet 2. To add a new tweet, you're going to copy the format, tweet 2. Paste it. 
Make sure everything is lined up exactly the same or it will not work. So make sure it's lined up. Switch tweet two to switch tweet three or whatever. The name of this is going to be test material will still be paper in the GUI for ability zero. So this is where you're going to enter your lines. So in my case, I'm going to say this is a test tweet from fate UXC. My name is noodles to add spaces. Just add that or just add this. Ah, Forgetting to put this. Make sure to put your uh, things in between the lines and then join this. Now, make sure to add the correct things here. Go ahead and click save, just like that. Close your configuration file. Then you can go ahead and restart your server and we will see if our new tweet has worked. Pretty simple to do. Just drag and drop. Enter your stuff. It's a, it's a little difficult. Ignore the. Okay, what did I do wrong? Ah, something went wrong in our configure file. So it was something that I changed. Let's see what's wrong. To open plugins, Twitter API, not Twitter API, Fate UAC API. Now I think I know what's wrong because I saw it in when doing this. If you ever need to see what something's wrong with a plugin, go into the error message and look right here in string tweet three. So there's something wrong with tweet three. Ah. It was one off from where it was supposed to be. Save this again, restart the server. If you ever see error messages like that, you can contact us, but it does tell you right here where it went wrong. It will tell you where it went wrong. In my, my, see, look, it loaded up fine this time. In my case, the issue was I didn't put a space. I had an extra space. It will tell you exactly where the issue is. So if you have that issue, look at the error and try to work it out first. Do Slack tweet, and you can see our new test is here. If I click it, let's. Why don't we check Twitter and see what happened? There it is. This is a this is a test tweet from BG, from Fate UZ. My name is Needles. Going now, so it's exactly what we told it to do. So, if you have suggestions on what to use this plugin, how you use it, all of that, please let me know on Discord. Um, hopefully this has helped some of you trying to set up Fate UXC on your own server in the Twitter API. I know this is a highly quest requested video, so if you have suggestions on future videos, please let me know. If it's if you still want like a written out version of this, it should be up on the wiki by the time this video released. So go check out the wiki page, link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, please let me know. Goodbye.